<laughs> okay, everybody, welcome to the uh, Mike and Bradley sports scene as we have uh, uh, the comedy edition. This week as uh, we're, uh, of course, all four people are smashed into the, into the studio instead of the usual two. And now uh, mm. we have two special guests here today known Over as the real. Batman and Robin of Bloodstone County <laughs> Telephone Cooperative, Albert and Billy, who is about to celebrate a milestone. 300 yeah. shows coming up from 2015 yeah. is when I was starting. And first, welcome Albert and welcome Billy and mm -hmm. welcome Bradley. And beer. for one hour, we're going to we're gonna sort of amuse you about the sports scene. But first thing, we're going to talk about how Albert and Billy's show came about. Mm -hmm. And and uh, Albert and Bradley, Billy, uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to go to you first. How did it okay. begin? Uh, okay, let's see. It began... Um, I, I when I, I was a DJ here uh, working for Joyce Bounds and Dr. Bounds as you guys remember well mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know one day I just uh, she actually Joyce said uh, get your grandpa up here sometime just to talk with you you know if you want to really? you know and because I I'd asked her about it once before she was all for it you know she was all for it and she said it again you know so I said okay. I said I, so. I asked Paul Paul because there was one day through the week where it was just me, and so I thought, well, I'm getting him up here. A lot of people would like to hear about um, the history of Bledsoe County because he he knows all about that, and that's what he did on that day at the radio station. And uh, I don't. It just kind of took off like a lot of people responded to that one day, and uh, they kept calling her. And I want Paul Paul to be on here a little bit more, so. Well, we, I guess it wasn't long after that we decided to start doing it weekly on the radio, right? I well, believe so. Uh, I was, mm -hmm. I was dumbfounded that you even asked me. <laughs> <laughs> I had never been. I thought it the... sounded more like the words insulted, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, after that first day, I realized I had to have something to talk about. True. True. So I came up with a format that we still use, mm -hmm. and I, well, I've told Vicky. We I named told, it after. I told Vicky. <laughs> I said, anytime y'all want to change whatever it is we do, you the let format, me know. Yeah. But we're still doing the same thing. But we, yeah, we still have Albert. We got a bit of a crowd here. We're about to end up. Let me track yeah. the audience here. That's what we want is we want to welcome the listeners to, to, uh, to Pike. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's, yeah, I. Yeah, you were saying, uh, talking about how you were shocked, but I wasn't shocked at the response, really, because I knew that everybody loved Papa, you know, and Aunt Papa were just two beloved, you know, people in this mm -hmm. community, so it didn't surprise me that much. Um, but uh, it wasn't long after that, anyway, we started doing it weekly. Uh, I can't remember exactly when, uh, but the... Channel 18, BTC Fiber, uh, come to me and we got uh, involved with them. Like, you know, they wanted to pick up the show and it wasn't too much long. We'd been on the radio for a little while, you know, but not too long at that point. Right. And uh, so, I mean, Albert's Billy show was born. And, that, and uh, I just, uh, in my mind at first, you know, when we first started, I thought just it would be memories at least, you know, of yeah, me right. and my grandpa, right. and, you know, who gets to uh -huh. do that? Not many people. No, no. Um, but I never dreamed that it would turn into what it's turned into, you know, just that that part is mind blowing. Uh, very humbled by it though, very humbled by it. And uh, we just really appreciate all the love, the, the support for the show and the ratings and all that. It's just, that's insane. You got, hundreds of, <laughs> you got, you got hundreds of thousands of likes yeah doing yeah. that uh doing the show and i think what it is is that okay you know when i was growing up in the 1970s here you of course you remember uh wdef chattanooga had oh, yeah. had that more at the morning show where you had judy corn I, I forget what the other what the guy's name was but you know we would discuss <laughs> and they would get like sort of raucous a little bit they would, they would just <laughs> ra raucous in the morning you remember you remember yeah, them yeah. and in all all those and uh, you know the thing about it is is that uh my dad would get a little upset at what they were doing. I said, "Well, son, I tell him, well, don't watch it. You don't want to like to, but you know, it's sort of, it's sort of like this. 
Mm-hmm. You know, I listen to your program, and it's it's very good on on the radio, and I'll I sometimes mm-hmm. I'll catch an episode on YouTube. But yeah. you know, it's it's very very uh, very uh, in, in, in formation. You don't really offend anybody. I mean, you basically mm-hmm. you come out there, you do sports history, whatever. Yeah, you do some sports, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, especially about the marbles. <laughs> and Bradley, I don't think, has ever heard the story about the marbles. Why don't you tell him about the marbles? Tell Bradley story. about the marbles. You can buy marbles right here. <laughs> they Any sell way? marbles in here. They and, do. They and, do. Uh, Not necessarily for sports. People but, know that have lost their marbles, so they get so they Well, I'm going to say, you'd be the one to say that. <laughs> Bradley. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. tell about the marbles, Albert. I told Billy That's one funny. day. That's funny. I can remember uh, playing marbles when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. And one day my daddy was in the basement and he noticed a bunch of quart jars full of marbles up on the bank. And he looked at those, mm-hmm. all those marbles and he said, Albert, do you know who those belong to? I said, they're mine. <laughs> he said, where did you get them? I said, I won them. He said, you gamble? I said, I sure do. <laughs> that's, about, that's about honest right there. That's honest. <laughs> but let me tell you about marbles. I told Billy one day mm-hmm. that there was a marble tournament held at one of the state parks. He did not believe me. And I laughed really hard. <laughs> I played marbles really when hard. I was little, so I know something about what you're talking about, Alvin. They're trying to tell me it was draw, a sport. Either they would draw a circle or they'd draw a square. As long as you put your marble in there, mm-hmm. you were up for grabs to lose your marbles. <laughs> <laughs> and I never lost marbles. I always won more than I put in. That's we, ain't why talking about me mental, we ain't talking about the mental, <laughs> mentally moving the marbles, just the, just the marbles. Well, now, I know marbles used to be a big thing because mm-hmm. Dad yeah. used to have them when he was growing up. Yeah. But yeah. he didn't play marbles. He used them to shoot with a slingshot. <laughs> oh, he, he would, I never he would, thought of that. He would shoot squirrels and stuff with it. <laughs> so going out behind Mama's house, you would find them in the, you know, just buried in the mud and dirt. <laughs> really? And I collected a bunch of them as a kid, mm-hmm. but never really played them. Mm-hmm. But I kept asking, where do these marbles come from? And Dad's like, well, that was probably the ones that I started squirrels back when I was a kid. So <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if your dad told you this, but uh, he actually whacked one in the direction of my dad, and for, fortunately for him, he missed. But <laughs> oh, I was not too pleased with it because I used to go over to your used to go over to your grandparents' house yep. a lot to visit, and uh, well, it, like that uh, sort of thing. Game, was, though, it was not probably not a good day. I don't know if, he, if Dad ever found out who did it, but uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> your father. <laughs> <I'd> <laughs> But I said it was a game. I don't see it as a sport. <laughs> Papa sees it as yeah, a sport. They, have, they actually have a, a sporting wild, 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 wild world of sports. Used to be a TV show on the yes. 70s. Okay? Yeah. You know, they had this the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. And everybody would watch the beginning yeah. of that. And they, they actually had a marble championship <laughs> on, 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 on TV. I had uh, a man came to up. George Reed's funeral home one time mm-hmm. to resurface the uh, parking area. Uh-huh. Okay. And one day he said to me, he said, Albert, do you have any marbles? I looked at him and I thought, well, why would I have marbles? He pulled par- marbles out of his pocket and he mm-hmm. said, I drop marbles like people drop mine. <laughs> and I didn't have any That's marbles crazy. to drop with him. Wow. That's great. Yeah, that that episode, I don't know what it was, but that blew my mind. Like, And I didn't believe it at first. I thought, you're just telling me that. Why would marbles be a sport and why would anybody care? That's what I said. That was my reaction to that. The thing is, okay, now Bradley uses now Albert Bradley uses this this phrase, and it drives me up the wall because it's not true. It doesn't exist. It doesn't it's, exist. It's possum womp. Have you ever heard of it? No. Possum womp. See, I told you. I like and you it, set though. me up with that head football coach on that deal. That doesn't mean I do. I know everything. <laughs> possum womp. I like it. Now you're. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I love you, Albert, but you know, you just he just talking about losing his marbles. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're asking him that I question. I know it, I know it. And I'm well. not. <laughs> I mean, no, no, possum pump. That's pretty good. I tell you, go. you can ask Marvin what possum pump is. He'll, he'll ever Marvin tell you. Marvin knows. Marvin knows what possum pump is. Possum pump. Yes, he, he'll tell you. Okay. And, and if you want to Google possum pump. <laughs> Mike has already done it. I did that by accident. And come and told me that he found it. How do you accidentally Google possum pump? Seriously? I mean, how do you do that? that you have to be no looking accident. for it. So he finds it on Google and it has a description of what that is. You can read the article. 
Um, oh, and it, it, it'll, it'll kind of tell you what it's all about. But anyway, if you if you beat a team really, really bad, or you beat an opponent really, really bad, um, it's a possum lock. <laughs> okay, 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 I like that. Yeah. For example, for example, yeah. my, my senior year, it's a blowout my senior year, lock. we played Sequatchie County, and we at, here at home, and we lost fifty-six to nothing. Well, you got wow. a possum lock that so night. <laughs> Sequatchie put the possum lock on us that night. Yeah, they sure and did. The, and here's the here's the th theory behind that. If you've mm -hmm. ever come home mm -hmm. and there been a possum on your porch, and you go to kick it mm -hmm. off your porch, mm -hmm. about the time you're in mid kick, it turns around and hisses, mm -hmm. and it startles you just enough to throw you off yeah. the kick a little bit. But yeah. your breeches leg hooks its eye tooth, <laughs> <laughs> and it latches on. Now you got two choices. Wow. You can let that possum bite you and have its way with your leg. Don't think so, no. Or you can stomp the life out of it. There you go. That's so my answer. <laughs> you put the possum whomp on it. You stomp the life out of it to keep it from biting you. And that's again like you stomp the life out of it at a Yeah. So if you win in an early round or you have a I you totally know, get the term. Or you, I like you win a, a major a major blowout, then yeah, you have like put the that. possum whomp. Have you ever had a possum do that to you? No, but uh, I have. But I my have. dad has had it done to him. I've had it done. <laughs> but you got a cat. So did, did you put the possum whomp on it? No, I turned it. <laughs> I got me a pole and I killed it that possum. the possum run. <laughs> but you talk about your cat the same way. Well. Your cat is the spawn of the devil, that's what you said. <laughs> let's, just, let's just not talk about the cat. It's four subjects to me. Well, I do. I mean, um, I forget where I was at on, on the story now. Yeah. But, uh, go ahead. Let's go ahead and finish this. I out. can't remember, but uh, he, yeah, it took somewhere it. between the marbles and the possum. Oh uh, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. my train of thought. Uh, I think we started uh, maybe the on TV in 2016, maybe 2015 or 2016 when it started, and um, like Mike we said, got big, the, big the ratings. Hit, yeah, took off and. Uh, like, it took us a while to get used to that. It took me a while to get used to it. Papa, not so much, but I, it took me a while to get used to the part just being near we were out about in public and mm -hmm. especially being in another town. You know, that's happened a few times now. That no, really, he's asking for autographs, right? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, a couple of women have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, just yeah, like, well, you don't okay. know what to say. It's weird. It's weird. It's just, Wait, all did especially at first. It really it kind of freaked me out at first. Not, you know, you get used to it, but. You I asked me to run some first. figures when I had him on as a special guest, mm -hmm. and he he was absolutely shocked. He really couldn't believe it. And you know the, yeah. that. Now you know, like I said, people like to you in the, in the age of the internet, in the age of political opinion, which is getting yeah. out there out of here by the day. This I is agree. a refreshing thing because you don't offend anybody. Yeah. Nobody can get get offended, but then again, True. there may be few will get offended by just about anything. Well, those and, people I say kick her and, off. And then you know, Brad, Bradley Hargis here, of course, uh, gets offended if we talk about his about his uh, Los Angeles Dodgers. Oh, that's uh, smart. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> to bring the Dodgers that's up now. That's Paul Foster. Now, now me, and, me and Albert are existing in here peacefully right now, so don't. I haven't, I haven't said a word. Don't bring them Dodgers yeah, Bradley's up. Bradley's team's brains. <laughs> but you know, but you know, but anyway, uh, but anyway. Mm -hmm. We're we're gonna go to a break and then we're gonna start discussing the softball scene, which is gonna be up next tomorrow night's championship game. Yeah. And then um, and I'll we'll, tell we you want Albert and Billy to hang around, <laughs> uh, hang around to bail us two out in just case we get any serious <laughs> trouble here. Our here, our th episode though is uh, <laughs> it's, we yeah. finally fi have a date for it. Right. Like, it's yeah. the seventeenth. Uh, oh, at oh. the Bank Walker Brewery, mm -hmm. uh, where they've had the uh, Christmas karaoke and the ugly sweater contests the last several years. Don't Me and Papa has always been a judge at that, so it'll be in that same uh, room, and it's a live taping. It's from two to four, and he, everybody, of course, can come watch the live taping of the show and, and participate, have questions, uh, like we did on the hundredth episode and the two hundredth episode. So that's I like that. That sounds nice. So uh, yeah. again. Uh, be there on on May seventeenth. So uh, yeah. again, we like you. 
Everybody Come out show and up and, uh, out. Yeah. and cheer these two on and congratulate them on the 300 episode. They may get a little surprise. That'd be on nice. The <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Bradley? That'd, That'd be, be nice. <laughs> now, how, how much do Twinkies cost now? <laughs> Don't know. I hadn't eaten them in a while. <laughs> <laughs> but like that. Well, anyway, uh, he may get a surprise on the 17th at uh, from 2 to 4 at Bank Walker yeah. Brewery. And, of course, we're going to go to a break here and then we're going to come back and talk about the softball scene for Bledsoe County Lady Warriors as they uh, have made it to the championship round of the district tournament and uh, right. that'll be tomorrow night and we will let you know who the opponent is and we'll discuss a little bit about that as you're watching a very special Mike and Bradley sports scene with special guest stars Albert and Billy. Come and see the beautiful Sequatchie Valley. And while you're here, visit the Dunlap Mercantile. We have a full line of hats from Resistol, Stetson, Charlie One Horse, American Hat Makers, GG Pip, Greeley Hats from the TV show Yellowstone, and a full line of vintage hats. Make sure to check out our hat bar where we can clean, shape, and customize a hat just for you. Right here at the Dunlap Mercantile. You need a bank that you can depend on. Here at Citizens Truck County Bank, we have the most dependable staff that you will ever meet. Call in, you will not get an automated attendant, you'll get a person. But on the other side, we have all the technology that anyone would need from apps to online banking to bill pay. So please come and grow with us as we're about to celebrate our 50th year. We are the only community bank you will ever need. At Jason Lewis Dunlap Supercenter, we're committed to be better. Better prices, better vehicles, a better experience. Your Jason Lewis Dunlap Supercenter understands that you rely on us to provide you with the highest quality of used vehicles. With over 350 pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. So what are you waiting for? Let us show you a better experience with the Jason Lewis Automotive family. Come visit us at Rankin Avenue here in Dunlap or on the web at DunlapSupercenter.com. Okay, we are back, and uh, we sort of told it, and during the intermission, uh, Bradley was telling Albert an interesting story, which I told him to hold for the 300 <laughs> episode, which will be next 17th at, at, uh, at the brewery. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about softball here as we get try to get back to the lighter side of things. Uh, of course, uh, tomorrow night, Bledsoe County will be uh, facing off in the District 4AA Tournament Championship, and surprise, surprise, it's Sequatchie County, a Again. team they beat... Monday night. Now, yes, what, now this, is, this is what happened. Wow. Is that Marion County won over CSAS, then uh -huh. went Tuesday and played Sequatchie County again. Oh, and lost. Lost to, Squ lost to Sequatchie County, so oh. that's why Sequatchie County is in. I couldn't understand until I saw it. That's crazy. Saw, saw the, yeah, it, it is crazy. But that, that's the way. So basically, so for the fourth time this season, Bledsoe will wow. face off against Sequatchie County. The winner will be the district tournament champion. Mm -hmm. and they're, Bledsoe's already ended in the region. They're guaranteed yeah. that slot. But they want to finish first to yeah. host the first round game, which will be next Monday night at Bledsoe County High School. So Defending it's probably likely at Megs or Sweetwater region is likely to this will likely be the opponent from that from that district. Okay. So anyway, that'll be uh, next Monday night. And of course, we'll have the broadcast of that game, yeah. Swatch County game, Thursday night, starting at 4:50 pregame, five o'clock first pitch. So, uh, WAT. WAT. Yes, <laughs> yes. And uh, Bradley, your take on that on this, this team this year? Well, there are a lot of people are saying this year this team is is not as good as it was last year. That's and, not true. And I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, the right. team. You know, you look at records on paper and you say, okay, well, they didn't lose a game last year. That's true. <laughs> But Either the caliber special. of teams they're playing this mm -hmm. season, mm -hmm. it's brutal. they've gotten better. They have. Saudi Daisy, 
Ray County, those teams have gotten better yes. than they were last year. Silverdale. 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 Yes. And Bledsoe and Silverdale. Bay, Ray County. And Silverdale right. is, you know, they're they're probably, they're paid to go to the they're, state. They're number you know, one the in the state so right now. Yeah. That's, I mean, they're playing tougher competition. So when Absolutely. you look at it on paper and you see the record, you see those losses, don't think that they're worse this year. No. They are playing better quality opponents You're this year right than they played that. last year. That's right. It'll and help that, a postseason. Though. Yes. Yeah. And that, that's mm -hmm. one good thing about it is playing harder teams, it makes you compete mm -hmm. at, a, at a different level. level. It does. Yeah. So when you go in there and you, you find out, hey, what, you, you really get your weaknesses exploited. You do. When yeah. you play mm -hmm. a tougher team. Yeah. So you know what to work on. Exactly. So then You're you go right. into the tournament. You get hot. You know where your yeah. weaknesses are, and you That's can true. you I, can do better. I think it was a brilliant so, decision on the coach's part to yeah. schedule that. Like yeah. that. You know, the thing about it is, is that uh, that this is actually a weaker district than the one we were in previously. Uh, right now, the, uh, this, you, you understand something here is that TA pointed to me out last year. They played an easy schedule last year, and mm -hmm. then it bit them. It in did the end and because it did. Forrest was the team that that gave them their only loss and knocked them out. Now uh, you know. Absolutely. We you know, I think it would have been worse when Monday night had not the the, the lightning delay delayed it for thirty minutes, and I, I think it broke a little bit of the momentum, but not Probably. much. Yeah. But uh, but you know, let's face it, Squatch County was only one of two district teams that scored on Bledsoe County. The other mm -hmm. was Murray County, and uh, wow. it, 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 to be you know That's be honest dominance. right now, this is this is a a team that. If if their luck holds and get a little bit of going through there, you know, I think the, re the district three teams are not as tough as the district five the district five teams mm -hmm. they had to play last year in the region. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, you know, it, this, so the Murfreesboro is probably a lot easier this year to get there than it was last year. That's, that's great. Okay. That's great because they deserve it. They deserve it, and uh, they made the postseason the last few couple years they've won the region in the yeah. last two years they won three straight three district straight, they've they won yeah. three straight tournaments three won three straight regions so uh, the, the, and ella baker's pitching now yeah she hasn't pitched all season till now she had injuries so yeah. she uh, so I they think had that's her on a huge first advantage base though for us because she's going to be fresh on the pitching part she come back at the, right, about time. the right time yeah, yeah. She, she got there uh josie parr did a very good job pitching this she season sure did. And she uh she she had that she will be the year. pitcher next year. Yeah. As well as of course Ella Baker is going to graduate and as mm -hmm. well. And of course uh uh losing four seniors and we do want to congratulate all the four all the seniors of class of twenty twenty four. Yeah. I hope that they that they go go through like maybe one what day maybe we have so a sports far. show like yeah. we do. Maybe yeah. so. anyway. But uh, you know, it's just it just just how it is. Albert, what do you think? Well I'm not I don't keep up with softball that much. Mm -hmm. I really don't. But, I, but I've told him how good the Lady Warriors are this the last few years. He knows about all that. I watch, I like to watch the pitcher pitch. The, this is a thing of beauty. The just any, pitch. Any, pit, any ball game like that, he likes the pitching. I, I played fast pitch mm -hmm. when I was yeah. uh, younger. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the first time I ever faced a fast ball pitcher, I got hit. <laughs> <laughs> But I got on base. <laughs> yeah, it does get you on base. You know when the I hard when way. I played when I played balls the leaguer, I got hit a lot too. <laughs> but that's because I crowded the plate, oh, really? and I was chubby. <laughs> so the ball, I found out that if you could stand up close to the plate, that the ball would nick your belly. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Just enough for the ump to say hit by pitch, take your base. Boy, that's smart, Brad. And I would get thrown out at second by all the time, but, <laughs> but I would I would make the base every time I got in the batter's box. Just about because I was scared to death to swing the bat. Yeah. Well, yeah, fast pitch at first is a little intimidating. I remember that too. You gotta get used to it. Well, I went uh, when I when I was going to school up in Kentucky in the eighties. Uh, we uh, I played a little on the baseball team. He wasn't very good at it. And we had a guy named Rufus Big Train Johnson. What a name! And he he. <laughs> okay, we are back, and uh, we sort of told it, and during the intermission, uh, Bradley was telling Albert an interesting story, which I told him to hold. For the 300 <laughs> episode, which will be next 17th at at the uh, at the brewery. Yeah, uh, we're gonna talk about softball. Okay, we are back, and uh, we sort of told it, and during the intermission, uh, Bradley was telling Albert an interesting <laughs> story, which I told him to hold for the 300 <laughs> episode, which will be next 17th at at the uh, at the brewery.
Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about softball here as we get try to get back to the lighter side of things. Uh, of course, uh, tomorrow night, Bledsoe then, County will be uh, facing off in the District 4 AA Tournament Championship. And surprise, surprise, it's Sequatchie County, a Again. team they beat Monday night. Now, yes. what, now this, is, this is what happened. Wow. Is that Marion County won over CSAS? Then uh -huh. went Tuesday and played Sequatchie County again. Oh, and lost. Lost to Squ lost to Sequatchie County, so uh -huh. that's why Sequatchie County is in. I couldn't understand until I saw. That's crazy. Saw, saw, yeah, it, it is crazy, but uh, that's the way. So basically, so for the fourth time this season, Bledsoe will wow. face off against Sequatchie County. The winner will be the district tournament champion. Mm -hmm. And. They're, Bledsoe's already ended in the region. They're guaranteed yeah. that slot, but they want to finish first to yeah. host the host first round game, which will be next Monday night at Bledsoe County High School. So it's probably region likely at Megs or Sweetwater region is likely to this will likely be the opponent from that from that district. Okay. So anyway, that'll be uh, next Monday night, and of course we'll have the broadcast of that game, yeah. Swatch County game, Thursday night, starting at 4:50 pregame, five o'clock first pitch. So, uh, WAT. Oh. WAT. Yes, it is. <laughs> and uh, Bradley, your take on that on this, this team this year? Well, there are a lot of people are saying this year this team is is not as good as it was last year. That's and, not true. And I don't believe that. Mm. Oh, I mean, the right. team. You know, you look at records on paper and you say, okay, well, they didn't lose a game last year. That's true. <laughs> but it the caliber special. of teams they're playing this mm -hmm. season, mm -hmm. it's brutal. They've gotten better. They have. Saudi Daisy. Ray County, those teams have gotten better yes. than they were last Silver, year. Silverdale. 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 Yes. And Bledsoe Silverdale. Beat Ray County. And Silverdale right. is, you know, they're they're probably, they're paid to go to the they're, state. They're number you know, one the in the state so right now. Yeah. That's, I mean, they're playing tougher competition. So when Absolutely. you look at it on paper and you see the record, you see those losses, don't think that they're worse this year. No. They are playing better quality opponents You're this year right than right they played last that. year. That's right. It'll and help that, them postseason. Though. Yes. Yeah. And that, that's one good thing about it is playing harder teams, it makes you compete mm -hmm. at, a, at a different level. level. It does. Yo. So when you go in there and you, you find out, hey, what, you, you really get your weaknesses exploited. You do. When yeah. you play mm -hmm. a tougher team. Yeah. So you know what to work on. Exactly. So then you right. go into the tournament, you get hot, you know where your yeah. weaknesses are, and you, That's can, true. you I, can do better. I think it was a brilliant so, decision on the coach's part to yeah. schedule that. Like yeah. that. You know, the thing about it is, is that, uh, that this is actually a weaker district than the one we were in previously. Now, right. now the, uh, this, you understand something here is that TA pointed to me out last year. They played an easy schedule last year, and mm -hmm. then it bit them. It in did the end and because it did. Forrest was the team that that gave them their only loss and knocked them out. Now, uh, you know, absolutely. We, you know, I think it would have been worse when Monday night had not the the, the lightning delay delayed it for thirty minutes, and I, I think it broke a little bit of the momentum, but not Probably. much. Yeah. But uh, but let, you know, let's face it, Squatch County was only one of two district teams that scored on Bledsoe County. The other mm -hmm. was Marion County. And uh wow. it, 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 to be you know That's be honest dominance. right now, is is this is a, a team that if if their luck holes and get a little bit of going through there, you know, I think the re the district three teams are not as tough as the district five the district five teams mm -hmm. they had to play last year in the region. Mm -hmm. So I uh, you know it, this Okay, we are back, and uh, we sort of told and third intermission. Uh, Bradley was telling Albert an interesting story, which I told him to hold for the three hundred <laughs> episode, which will be next seventeenth at at the uh, at the brewery. Yeah, uh, we're going to talk about softball here as we get try to get back to the lighter side of things. Uh, of course, uh, tomorrow night Bledsoe then, County will be uh, facing off in the District Four AA Tournament Championship, and surprise, surprise, it's Sequatchie County, a Again. team they beat. Monday night. Now yes. what? Now this is, this is what happened. Wow! Is that Marion County won over CSAS? Then uh -huh. went Tuesday and played Sequatchie County again. Oh, and lost. Lost to Squ lost to Sequatchie County. So uh -huh. that's why Sequatchie County is in. I couldn't understand until I saw. That's crazy. Saw, saw, yeah, it, it is crazy. But uh, that's the way. So basically, so for the fourth time this season, Bledsoe will wow. face off against Sequatchie County. The winner will be the district tournament champion. Mm -hmm. And. They're, Bledsoe's already ended in the region. They're guaranteed yeah. that slot, but they want to finish first to yeah. host the first round game, which will be next Monday night at Bledsoe County High School. So it's probably region likely at Megs or Sweetwater region is likely to this will likely be the opponent from that from that district. Okay. 
So anyway, that'll be uh, next Monday night. Of course, we'll have the broadcast of that game, yeah. Swatchee County game, Thursday night, starting at 4.50 pregame, 5 o'clock first pitch. Right so, on W-A-T. Uh, W-A-T, <laughs> yes, it is. And uh, Bradley, your take on the, on this, this team this year? Well, there are, a lot of people are saying this year this team is, is not as good as it was last year. That's and, not true. And I don't believe that. Mm. Oh, I mean, the right. team, you know, you look at records on paper and you say, okay, well, they didn't lose a game last year. That's true. <laughs> but Either the caliber special. of teams they're playing this mm -hmm. season, mm -hmm. it's brutal. they've gotten better. They have. Saudi Daisy, Ray County, those teams have gotten better yes. than they were last year. Silverdale. Yes. And Bledsoe and Silverdale. Bay, Ray County. And Silverdale right. is, you know, they're, they're probably, they're paid to go to the they're, state They're number you know, one tournament. in the state so right now. Yeah. That's, I mean, they're playing tougher competition. So when Absolutely. you look at it on paper and you see the record, you see those losses, don't think that they're worse this year. No. They are playing better quality opponents You're this year right than they played last that. year. That's right. It'll and help that, them postseason. Though. Yes. Yeah. And that, that's one good thing about it is playing harder teams, it makes you compete mm -hmm. at, a, at a different level. level. It does. Yeah. So when you go in there and you, you find out, hey, what, you, you really get your weaknesses exploited. You do. When yeah. you play mm -hmm. a tougher team. Yeah. So you know what to work on. Exactly. So then you right. go into the tournament, you get hot, you know where your yeah. weaknesses are, and you, That's can, true. you I, can do better. I think it was a brilliant so, decision on the coach's part to yeah. schedule that. Like yeah. that. You know, the thing about it is, is that, uh, that this is actually a weaker district than the one we were in previously. Uh, right. Now, the, uh, this, you understand something here is that TA pointed me out last year. They played an easy schedule last year, and mm -hmm. then it bit them. It in did. The end and because did. Forrest was the team that, that gave them their only loss and knocked them out. Now, uh, you know. Absolutely. We, you know, I think it would have been worse when Monday night had not the, the the lightning delay delayed it for thirty minutes, and I, I think it broke a little bit of the momentum, but not Probably. much. Yeah. But the uh, but but you know, let's face it, Squatch County was only one of two district teams that scored on Bledsoe County. The other mm -hmm. was Murray County, and uh, wow. it, 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 to be, you know, That's be honest, dominance. right now, this is this is a a team that. If if their luck holes and get a little bit of going through there, you know, I think the, re the district three teams are not as tough as the district five the district five teams mm -hmm. they had to play last year in the region. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, you know, it, this, so the Murfreesboro is probably a lot easier this year to get there than it was last year. That's, that's great. Year. That's great because they deserve it. They deserve it, and uh, they made the postseason the last few couple years they've won the region the yeah. last two years they won three straight three district straight, they've the, won yeah. three straight tournaments three won three straight regions so uh, the, the, and ella baker's pitching now yeah she hasn't pitched all season till now she had injuries so yeah. since she uh, yeah. so I they think had that's her on a huge first advantage for us because she's going to be fresh on the pitching part She'll come back at the talk right about time. the right time yeah, yeah. She, she got there uh josie Potter did a very good job pitching this she season sure did. she uh she she had that she will be the pitcher year. next year. Yeah. As well as of course Ella Baker is going to graduate and as mm -hmm. well. And of course uh uh losing four seniors and we do want to congratulate all the four all the seniors of class of twenty twenty four. Yeah. And I hope that they that they go Okay, we are back and uh we sort of told uh, and thirty admission uh Bradley was telling Albert an interesting mm -hmm. story which I told him to hold for the three hundred <laughs> episode which will be next seventeenth at, at the uh at the brewery. Yeah. Uh we're gonna talk about softball here as we get try to get back to the lighter side of things. Uh of course uh tomorrow night Bledsoe that, County will be uh facing off in the district four double A tournament championship and surprise, surprise, it's Sequatchie County. A Again. team they beat Monday night. Now yes. what? Now this is one. this is what happened. Wow! Is that Marion County won over CSAS? Then uh -huh. went Tuesday and played Sequatchie County again. Oh, and lost. Lost to Squ lost to Sequatchie County. So uh -huh. that's why Sequatchie County is in. I couldn't understand until I saw. That's crazy. Saw, saw, yeah, it, it is crazy. But uh, that's the way. So basically, so for the fourth time this season, Bledsoe will wow. face off against Sequatchie County. The winner will be the district tournament champion. Mm -hmm. And. Bledsoe's already ended in the region. They're guaranteed yeah. that slot, but they want to finish first to yeah. host a first round it. game, a which will be next Monday night at Bledsoe County High School. So Defending it's probably likely at Megs or Sweetwater region is likely that this will likely be the opponent from that from that district. Okay. So anyway, that'll be uh, next Monday night. And of course, we'll have the broadcast of that game, yeah. Swatchee County game, Thursday night, starting at 4:50 pregame, five o'clock first pitch. Right so, uh, W-A-T. W-A-T, yes, <laughs> it is. And uh, Bradley, 
your take on the on this, this team this year? Well, there are a lot of people are saying this year this team is is not as good as it was last year. That's and, not true. And I don't believe that. Mm. Oh, I mean, the right. team. You know, you look at records on paper and you say, okay, well, they didn't lose a game last year. That's true. <laughs> But Either the caliber special. of teams they're playing this mm -hmm. season, mm -hmm. it's brutal. they've gotten better. They have. Saudi Daisy, Ray County, those teams have gotten better yes. than they were last Silver, year. Silverdale. Silverdale. Yes. Silverdale. And Bledsoe and Silverdale. Bay, Ray County. And Silverdale right. is, you know, they're, they're probably, they're paid to go to the they're, state. They're number you know, one the in the state so right now. Yeah. That's, I mean, they're playing tougher competition. So when Absolutely. you look at it on paper and you see the record, you see those losses, don't think that they're worse this year. No. They are playing better quality opponents You're this year right than right they played last that. year. That's right. It'll and help that, a postseason. Though. Yes. Yeah. And that, that's one good thing about it is playing harder teams, it makes you compete mm -hmm. at, a, at a different level. Higher level. It does. Yeah. So when you go in there and you, you find out, hey, what, you, you really get your weaknesses exploited. You do. When yeah. you play mm -hmm. a tougher team. Yeah. So you know what to work on. Exactly. So then you right. go into the tournament, you get hot, you know where your yeah. weaknesses are, and you, That's can, true. you I, can do better. I think it was a brilliant so, decision on the coach's part to yeah. schedule that. Like yeah. You know, the thing about it is, is that, uh, that this is actually a weaker district than the one we were in previously. Now, right. now the, uh, this, you understand something here is that TA pointed to me out last year. They played an easy schedule last year, and mm -hmm. then it bit them. It in did. The end and because did. Forrest was the team that, that gave them their only loss and knocked them out. Now, uh, you know. Absolutely. We, you know, I think it would have been worse when Monday night had not the, the the lightning delay delayed it for thirty minutes, and I, I think it broke a little bit of the momentum, but not Probably. much. Yeah. But the uh, but let, you know, let's face it, Squatch County was only one of two district teams that scored on Bledsoe County. The other mm -hmm. was Marion County, and uh, wow. it, 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 to be you know, That's be honest, dominance. right now is is this is a a team that. If if their luck holes and get a little bit of going through there, you know, I think the, re the district three teams are not as tough as the district five the district five teams mm -hmm. they had to play last year in the region. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, you know, it, this, so the Murfreesboro is probably a lot easier this year to get there than it was last year. That's, that's great. Year. That's great because they deserve it. They deserve it, and uh, they have made the postseason the last few couple years they've won the region the yeah. last two years they won three straight three district straight, they've the, won yeah. three straight tournaments three won three straight regions so uh, the, the, and ella baker's pitching now yeah. she hasn't pitched all season till now she had injuries so, yeah. so she uh yeah. so I they think had that's her a on first for us because she's going to be fresh on the pitching part she come back at the, right, about time. the right time yeah, yeah. She, she got there uh josie Parr did a very good job pitching this she season sure did. she uh she she had to she will be the year. pitcher next year. Yeah. As well as of course Ella Baker is going to into one super high school. That'd which would have made would have made it a six A program. Mm -hmm. And you know the uh, the thing about it is is that there were no way in the world worked. these coast communities would have ever gone for that. There would no way. No. And, and you know it's no. like in the seventies there's this rumor going around that they were going to build a consolidated high school for Bledsoe and Squatchy County. No, that wouldn't have worked. And uh, that 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 and that <laughs> would have worked because you, they, we would have built it where the old vocational school was. It would been it would been yeah. dead center. But the problem is that they work now. They built the vocational school in the first three or four years. It was like a fist fight a day. Yeah. <laughs> sort of <laughs> sort of thing. So you know that sort of thing. And Ray County, when Spring City and Dayton Central consolidate, mm. it was, from I heard, it was just fight a day. It was rough. And, uh, I can't believe, it. yeah, I still can't believe they know it. And, and the, you I know, can't. the thing about it is, is that, you know, the thing about it is, is that, as one says, as Bledsoe wins, it's hard to get a good opponent to play you because they don't want to have an opponent coming, a smaller opponent, say, a 3A or a 4A school coming in and get beaten by a 2A school. Yeah, right. And, and you know, and Marion County and South Pittsburgh, seems to think that they're a law upon themselves. Now, I'm not knocking a lot of Marion and South Pittsburgh fans, but they some of them think they're a law upon themselves. They don't play in the Squatchy Valley uh, Jamboree anymore. They go over to Chattanooga. Why? Oh, really? I don't get that. Why? Prestige. That's it. That's all it is. They don't, they don't get that. They don't well, he, up with the, that. The historical aspect of it, the Squatchy Valley Jamboree has been here a lot longer than I know. It holds, for a football fan, it holds more prestigious I was about to say, know, yeah, than, than the Chattanooga Jamboree. Yeah. I you agree. know, the only reason it's they go to Chattanooga is because it's covered more by the, by the media outlets. Yeah, okay. because you're, you're playing at Finley Stadium, right? And you're playing against yeah. teams, you know, the Chattanooga area teams. So you mm -hmm. all the Chattanooga news stations are covering it. Yeah, they don't really come over here. They don't have to now, right? Because the teams that played with us mm -hmm. are now there. And well, I'll mm -hmm. go ahead and say the teams mm -hmm. that matter to Chattanooga, yeah, play over there now. 
because right. they, I mean, that's one thing that always bothered me about reading the free press. You never heard anybody make an article about Bledsoe or oh, no. Sequatchie or Grundy. Yeah. It was always Marion. Mm -hmm. It was South always Pittsburgh. South Pittsburgh. It was yeah. always now Signal Mountain. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's always that area. They yeah. never would come and give us any credit. No. Even when we were beating them. Exactly. Yeah, I, 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 exactly. Would, I would go down, you know, I would I told Chattanooga, right. uh, New Times Free Press people, I said, how you have this tour, but you never go to Bledsoe or Sequatchie County. Mm -hmm. Why not? I said, they're not interesting enough. I said, that's we whip, your two, whip those guys in Chattanooga quite regularly, and you say we're not interested enough. That's, you know, that's the thing about it is, is that, well, you know, I hear, answer. you know, you've heard after Bledsoe beat Tyner a few mm -hmm. years back, mm -hmm. I heard this from some Chattanooga and says, you're not supposed to come into Chattanooga and beat a Chattanooga team. You're not supposed to do that. I said, well, get over. Yeah, I said <laughs> we did. Yeah. They, did. They came up here and we beat them. We whipped them. Mm -hmm. And that, that was it. And you know what it is that Tyner is getting new getting new facilities. Mm -hmm. I would love to go down and play. In fact, I told Tyner to save those old steps for you, brother. <laughs> as, a, as, a, as, as a trophy of, 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 of times where there's two things I don't do well. What? I don't do hide and seek. <laughs> yeah. And I don't do heights. You don't do what? Heights. Oh, it's good. Heights. And there's one thing. If I'm on a solid structure and I'm going up, I'm okay. But when I'm going up <laughs> steps and they're moving and creaking, <laughs> and I'm yeah. I mean, I, no lie, I saw a nail come up and be like, Man, this is gonna be hard for us to hold on for this one because this guy's going upstairs, and, you know. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm not gonna make it, you know. And if I, when I got up to the top, you know, finally I was like, yeah, well, I'm here now. Getting yeah. down will be a lot easier. Yeah, exactly. I could pull a mic and just, you know. <laughs> there you go. I, I could, at least I'm on my way down if I fall the next time. You know? That's right. That's There's right. a story about the during, during uh, Typhoon Tire. Remember that one? Uh, and yes. We, we were, we were uh, doing a game at Typhoon Tire. You were in the stands. I was in the stands for yeah, that. And I was like this. And it was like it was raining, coming down hard and all that. Tell them that what happened about the umbrella. Well, we were... Over there, we were actually playing Tyner very good that night, and I was like, "Man, we might, you know, have a chance at this." Mm -hmm. We made it halftime. Well, second half come out, Tyner, you know, they went up a few, you know, a few scores, and then all of a sudden, the bottom falls out. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning, rain, oh. thunder, you know, and I'm already wet. <laughs> you know, I'm sitting here, I'm like, oh, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, and I'm like, I wish I got my, I wish I brought my umbrella, you know, so. Suzanne Bo Boynton, yeah. um, she handed me an umbrella. <laughs> it would have covered her. <laughs> but when I got that umbrella, I promise you, it wouldn't but about that big. And I, I sat there. <laughs> My head didn't get any rain on it. But my oh, neck and my shoulders <laughs> and everything was getting soaked, and I was like, finally, I just handed it back to her. I said, <laughs> I said here, I said it's not doing me a bit of good, and it wasn't. And uh, had to hike back to the school. Um, That's good. Through the flood, good they called the game that night. Tyler really? won the ball game. But. Yeah, well, you know, the about it was is that was that I was in the it was in the press box, and he was like this, and I said to Mel, I said if the lightning flashes one time, they're gonna call this game. Flash. That stadium empty I liked was parting the Red Sea and oh like this, gosh. and it was raining so hard. I had I had notes all that. It 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 literally ran the ink right off the paper. Mm -hmm. if, <laughs> if you can if you can think about those little <laughs> those little umbrella hats that you can get, <laughs> you know they're about that big. That was about the size of the umbrella she gave me, and like I I said, it was, it was keeping her dry, but it would not wouldn't do a thing for me. But you know, she thought she she did was very thoughtful, and I appreciate that. It was a nice that, gesture on it, Papa. It was a very nice gesture, you know. But I, I think maybe there was a, a comedic relief, <laughs> you know, I was doing behind that gesture. Let's, you know, because that's what I was doing. I would have loved to have seen that. Nice. I would have took a picture. But of no, I, I do appreciate her making the effort. To, but you know, that's sort of at the, least keep my head dry. <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, you know, the thing about it was is I was doing it with Mel Matthews at the time. Uh, he was doing the play-by-play. -play. I was doing the color commentary, 
and I tell you everything right now. I'm not good at color commentary. I can tell you that right now. But you know this sort of, sort of thing. Uh, but uh, you know you look at the, this this sort of thing, and you know, uh, and then you know, we're, of course real training was real funny stories. So, so uh, uh, let's go a little bit for professional baseball. I know we want to talk about your favorite team, the Dodgers. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I was giving Albert credit when I got here. Now I did say that the Dodgers did win three out of three against Atlanta um, last weekend. So you know, I, I, props to the Dodgers. But uh, that tasted bad. Could not bad. bad. But I, you know, win or lose, I, I've still got tendonitis in my elbow. Ch I'm doing the chop Ch so much. Choketober in, but, in May. Uh, Choketober in May. Like the two, honestly, I still, I still believe the two best teams in in the Major League Baseball right now are the Braves and the Dodgers. That's pretty and, cool that they and are. I, too. I think they will end up. I may be wrong. I mean, the Braves did fall to second place, but the Phillies are hot right now. And they fell to second place because of the Dodgers, <laughs> BS, and Phillies won. So uh, I do look for the National League Championship to be between the Dodgers and the Braves. That's that's kind of what I'm expecting. Mm -hmm. Pop and like that. Depending on who is healthy yeah. during that time, right. is going to determine who goes on. I was riding with him one time to a game, and uh, he uh, he turned on the Braves game afterward, and he was playing the Dodgers. I think it was on the radio, and he was like. Him and Derek was doing the chop shop. Oh, all just... he kept saying on the way over there to that ball game, we were going to Polk County, I believe. <laughs> yeah. And on the way over there, all he kept saying was, "Go Dodgers, go Dodgers, go Dodgers." <laughs> oh, really? So after the game, we got back in the vehicle, we turn it back on, and it's playing the post game, and the Braves had won. <laughs> So Derek and I chopped all the way home, <laughs> and Mike sat back there and munched on crow because he was really giving us a hard time. Right. You know, and we all know that crow, when it's warm, is a lot easier to swallow. <laughs> right. And he right. was definitely chewing on something. I bet. I bet. You know, the other thing about it is, is that I offered to buy him a meal, and he said he. And he said if he accepted, I would hold it over his head for all eternity. You're not doing me that way. Yeah. No. <laughs> and I, and, and all, all that way. And you know, that, that sort of thing. And this is the guy who took when the game at East Robertson, the playoff game, and it was freezing to death. I had a press box all set up for us to mm -hmm. go. He wanted to go out there and sit out there in that cold. I nearly froze to death. Well, <laughs> I'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> yeah. But I want to get right back to the baseball because... Yeah, right we're going to run out of time, aren't we? Yeah, we're, we're, this is going to be, this is our th the 300th show for them, we're announcing that, but we're going to go for three hours yeah. for our show today, which is, that's part of it. You know, but uh, Marcelo Zuna, mm -hmm. Atlanta Braves, uh, the big surprise this year yeah. is tearing it up. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's 10 home runs. Uh, leads the league in RBIs. Mm -hmm. um, the only one that has more home runs than him is Otani, who's your beloved Dodgers. <laughs> and I mean, he's with, with the athletes that they have, and the athletes the Braves have. I think it's again. I go. I go back to the the people in the Braves squad right now that were supposed to overperform and do great mm -hmm. have been kind of quiet. Well, and those who were right those time. who were pegged to underperform, and I'm and I'm talking Marcelo Zuna. Uh, Arcia, the this, this the shortstop, uh, Kalanick, the one they uh, signed from Seattle. Th those guys were supposed to do. Uh, Darno was supposed to be, you know, your average performers. Yeah. Well, they were people. They're playing a ball. Their... Fifteen games into the season, saying Darno was going to be your MVP <laughs> because he was, That's you know, crazy. tearing it up. And Acuna, Albies. Um, all those guys, Murphy, mm -hmm. Olsen, they're not performing the way they should. It's weird. So I'm thinking if they get hot oh, yeah. toward the end of the season, Maybe that's and what those that are on. performing right now <laughs> do half of what they're doing now. Yeah, they're going to be tough to beat. They're going to be tough to beat. Yeah. But it's going to come down to pitching. Yeah, it's it always come down does. To pitching. It right. always does. It always does. And, mm -hmm. and the Dodgers made more moves in the offseason to sign a more more potent pitching staff. Oh, they signed okay. Tyler Glass now and he is Boy, he's lights good. out. <laughs> I watched him yeah. pitch last you know, week. This week. And it really helped them because with, with Buter coming back, he had Tommy John surgery last year. 
so I think Bueller's playing now, isn't he? Uh, yeah. And he, but he's still trying to. Yeah. He's not rehabbing anymore, but they still don't want to overdo it because his his, his injury. Yeah, but uh, the Dodgers right now have a better starting pitching rotation because Strider is out, the Tommy yeah. John surgery. So they but really could go either there's way. There's still literally. a lot of players in the in the farm system for the Braves. Uh, mm-hmm. AJ Smith, Chester, Sawyer's coming up. He may perform. So yeah, I'm excited for the for the red, white, and blue teams to play. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's later yeah. on in the, in the, in the it's playoffs. It's more so. uh, fun to watch when it's yeah. them, you yeah. know. Yeah, it is. It is uh, uh, you know, it, it's not as fun if it's it somebody that, else. Uh, it's really not. Uh, again, the baseball season still a long ways to go till October. And remember, Bradley. My Celtics won one game more than the NBA October, last night. It was, it will happen, <laughs> trust me. But anyway, uh, of mm-hmm. course, uh, when we come back, we're going to have some final words here. And, uh, of course, we're going to, again, talk a little bit about the uh, – uh, about the uh, Albert and Billy 300 and 300 show. Oh yeah. And yeah. Uh, so uh, we're gonna go Check to a break, out, and folks. then we'll be back here on the uh, Mike and Bradley sports scene on on Buzzle Telephone Call for Channel 18. Support small business and shop DunlapMercantile.com. A good bank has people you can depend on, people who grew up here and can handle today's issues and growing technology. Here at Citizens Tri-County Bank, this is the way we've served the community for almost 50 years. Ready to help you in person, online and on our app whenever you need it. Choose the bank that cares about you. Citizens Tri-County Bank the only community bank you'll ever need. At Jason Lewis Dunlap Supercenter, we're committed to be better. Better prices, better vehicles, a better experience. Your Jason Lewis Dunlap Supercenter understands that you rely on us to provide you with the highest quality of used vehicles. With over 350 pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs, So what are you waiting for? Let us show you a better experience with the Jason Lewis Automotive family. Come visit us at Rankin Avenue here in Dunlap or on the web at DunlapSuperCenter.com. We're back, and we're talking about a little miscellaneous stuff, or a little sadness out of there. Uh, <laughs> Marcus Houtson, and for and those who remember, was the was a was the starting quarterback for Florida State in the 1990s, and he uh, was the starting quarterback in the national championship game against Tennessee. Oh, okay. and uh, he uh, he had replaced uh, Chris Winkie, who had been injured his neck, and uh, he died at age 46 last week, apparently Whoa. from uh, cancer. And our Whoa. our condolences Gosh. to the Florida State family, especially to Roy Pankey. Who was a big Florida State fan, and uh, yeah, that's uh, young, it's, very uh, young to die. Just, uh, just, uh, just, just, uh, you know, at 46, <laughs> he uh, had he won, he would have been the first third string quarterback to win the national. We have the first ever phony. <laughs> <laughs> We're all in trouble here. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, get your pop pop get your bleeper on. <laughs> on. <laughs> we've got a we've got a question for a viewer from a viewer here. <laughs> Well, just what are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, out's Albert's for by the way, which is the old fashioned ringer on it. And uh, <laughs> I didn't know what was going anyway, on. Anyway, uh, but anyway, yeah, Chris uh, again, uh, Mark Southson yeah, played the national uh, championship game. Erica Dawson go off to them. Yeah, who was that uh, by the way? Awful Albert, young to my daughter Paula. Oh, she doesn't work. I said you still you still working with these crazy crazy people, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know the thing about it is, is that the show anything can happen, and believe me, it has happened in in bushels. It has already mm-hmm. happened. But anyway, Chris, yes. of course, uh, Marcus Allison dead at age forty six, 
And of course, the NBA has a uh, banned one player for life, basically for gambling. Mm -hmm. Oh, to Pete Rose, gambling yeah. on oh. NBA games, which is a no-no. What? Yeah, NBA player. I forget the name. Pete Rose gambled on baseball. Well, yeah, but this guy was an NBA player who. Pete Rose played basketball too. No. <laughs> 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 so you're it's saying it's there. similar to Pete Rose it's not situation. It's and so there was a, what you're telling it's me similar. is there was a guy that you don't know the name of that was gambling on name. basketball games. Right, uh, he was an NBA player. And he got caught. And he got it. caught gambling okay. on NBA games. So therefore, like Pete Rose got caught gambling mm -hmm. on baseball. It's all right if you gamble on football or tiddlywinks or whatever, but don't gamble on the sport you're playing in. Well, it's okay. Oh. To, it's okay to bet now. Yeah, but you okay. can't bet. If but you, you can't play. you can't bet on you know like your team your, your, team, your league. I mean, yeah, you yeah. have to. Yeah, so that's he, true. So he's basically he's banned for life. Yeah. So yeah, basically, you know, he, can't, know he, Pete Rose. he can't watch a basketball game unless he watches it on TV. And again, wow, that's a sore subject for me too because you can't. I know ga I'm not justifying gambling. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't mm -hmm. agree with it at all. But mm -hmm. in any shape, form, or fashion. Uh -huh. But. You cannot deny the stats and the things that people. Yeah, that's true. People do, do. Oh, I and agree with that. the fact that he was, yeah. he was, he, he did bet on baseball, but he bet on his team to win. Yeah, and it wasn't like he and he was managing at the time, so yeah. it's not like he could have done anything to throw the game. Yeah, because he wasn't, he wasn't pitching, he wasn't playing, he couldn't have struck out every time. I don't think he that was have, his intention. You know, he do, bet yeah. on his team to win. I think. I think it's simple. Rule that. Says you so, can't do that, so he brought out the rules, and it cost him. And uh, of course, uh, a lot of things. Uh, Tennessee baseball ranked number one in the nation this yep. week. Yes. Oh, Second time under Tony Vitale that has happened. Won their fortieth game. All right. Just All right. And uh, Lady Vols. Uh, Lady Vols have won the uh, regular season SEC championship back to back, first yep. time in a long time. Wouldn't They're, it be uh, nice to see them both win their first national I would, championship? I, I, I would here. love to see well, that. The Lady Vols will play the ninth against Alabama. Lost to LSU today, so LSU okay. will play Lady Vols. Lady Vols. That'll be the first SEC tournament. They got, they they got a double bye yeah. because they were the regular yeah. season champs. Yeah. And that sort of Ooh. thing. And uh, of course, uh, again, softball tomorrow night at Bledsoe County High School at the District yeah. 4 AA Tournament Championship, Bledsoe versus Sequatchie County. Very fourth fun, straight really? edition of the border robbery, but softball style. Really? And uh, so, uh, again, 300 show next, yeah. uh, next week. Yeah, the, the 17th, at the, folks. At the, uh, what, what the Bank Walker Brewery. Bank Walker Brewery. I'll be on Spring Street. Yeah, just a Spring block Street, away from Just a from block us. away from the station. I'll they always have this, this uh, Christmas karaoke and ugly sweater contest Bradley, as part of the brewery. Bradley, whatever you do, please don't sing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send a thirst in the great speckled bird. <laughs> and, and, and don't wear the wrestling mas mask either. It's in oh, the mask do that. You got to do mask that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shoe in to win. <laughs> and, uh, we always person. judge those things. We might, right, might, so have, might have something to do, might have a special thing for them on their 300 show. It might involve cool. Twinkies and Candles. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you ever see 300 tw candles on a Twinkie? <laughs> if you can get 300 wow, candles on a Twinkie, yeah. you're, doing, you're doing good. I say give it but a try. Like I said, congratulations to Albert and Billy for uh, having a long running show. A lot, lot longest running than most network shows we got they have mm -hmm. on TV today. Yeah. And obviously, uh, one of the days there, maybe maybe ESPN will pick it up. So we never <laughs> we know. Can, exactly. <laughs> Channel 18 would have something to say about that. Well, they've already done that once. <laughs> Remember, they tried. And you, yeah. Uh, <laughs> nice try fooling me. Yeah. <laughs> ESPN was, nice was, try fooling was, me. was in our presence at one time. <laughs> nice try fooling and me, And you Bradley. really thought we'd finally hit it big. <laughs> I knew what it was from the very beginning, Bradley. I could, was not was not full. For those of you, do really quick. For those of you who don't know, <laughs> every year during the football, I haven't done it in the past couple of years, but every year I'd play a prank on Mike. Every year, and it is entertaining well, to the listeners. One, I will tell you that. <laughs> one year, this is before we did live. We did we were mm. doing tape delay. Mm. I had a friend of mine in Dunlap. We were playing in Dunlap. And I was preaching down there at one of the churches that he was attending, and I asked him, I said, what are you doing Friday night? Going to the ball game. I got a job for you. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and I said, will you come dressed as ESPN? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you're a scout, and you want, and you want me. <laughs> I said, not Mike, you want me. <laughs> I said, go as far as you want to go with it. Friend brought in, he come in wearing an ESPN shirt, a polo, <laughs> the ESPN embroidered. 
business cards. Oh, dang. It was set up. I mean, I thought I couldn't have done any better myself. I was about to say, I bet you weren't so, expecting that. And I had told my, for years, ESPN had been trying to get me. Oh, <laughs> really? said, this is a joke. That's because a I, joke it was so it. easy to get going. So he meets me halfway on the bleachers at Squatchy <laughs> County, jumping. I'm just like, yeah, Christmas. Stop that. ESPN's here. ESPN's here, Bradley. ESPN's here. And I said, you can't use my own joke against me. That's not, and me knowing who it was up there. He said, no, they're really here. They're in the booth. They're in the booth with us, Bradley. You know, so I'm thinking, oh, my. This is, couldn't be really better. So I go up there. And finally, you know, we did the introduction and all of that. And we were talking around. And he listened to the pregame. And, and uh, I looked, and he kept saying, you know, well, you do a great job, you do a great job. And every time he would reference to me, he would say you, and then Mike would re reply, he'd say we. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, Willie said, you know, no, I, we just want Bradley. Oh. And Mike says, well, we're a package deal. You get one, you get the other. So I, I was trying to keep from laughing. That's awesome. And he gets on the air on the tape delay, and he says, "We got a special guest with us tonight. ESPN is in the booth with us." And I thought, "No, now I've got to now I've got to correct this. I'm going to have to carry this on for like the next 55 years, you know." But we got back on the air at halftime. We didn't come back up there. And, uh, yeah, it would have been live. Oh, it would have been, been great. I would have been rolling. He comes back up there. We're talking. And finally I said, will you be at church Sunday? He said, yep, I'll be there. I said, okay, tell Mike. I said, hello. And Mike just catches that in passing. He's like, wait. <laughs> You know him? <laughs> I knew it was a joke. I knew it. everybody in the press box flogged Mike. You did not. You did not. So he gets back on the air after halftime. He says, "Well, apparently I've been the butt end of a sick joke here tonight." That's not true. I've never said that. You I did. That. I have it on tape. I, said, I still have the tape. Hey, yeah, I'll tell you something. Let's, let, let's what happened next week. Okay, we're back at home. He's going in there, and the first thing he's doing, he's looking underneath the chairs. He's looking everywhere, figuring I'm going to have some sort of retaliation in my form. <laughs> you know, well, see, my prank. Well, I can't say I can't say blame for that. My <laughs> pranks are classy and hilarious. Yours are kind of tacky and dangerous, so I don't I don't trust your pranks. And speaking of speaking of pranks, uh, my cowbells better show up at the beginning of the season. I've been made change this year with cowbells. <laughs> and, but you know, but. You know, the, to be honest, the jokes aside, we always had a lot of fun here tonight, especially with, with uh, Albert and Billy here tonight, because they told some very good stories. Thank you. Normally, we'd be discussing at length what the love sports is, but unfortunately, that went by the way, and we yeah. do apologize. But I hope that you have enjoyed uh, uh, this comedy classic. Yeah. <laughs> you guys love to be on Com uh, Comedy uh, classic. I think we can play show this at the 300 time. show just to see what, just to, yeah. just to see that this is not, this has not been a, a, a uh, special effects laden deal. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, again, we uh, we do appreciate everybody uh, for uh, tuning in to Albert and Billy's show. And, uh, Don't forget the 17th. On the 17th yeah. at, the, at the brewery. You can come and watch the live taping. Come watch the live taping, and we might show up just, just, just for that. You guys should. To be sure. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, you know, again, 300 shows is a, is a, is a huge, huge achievement for, for, for two believe. guys here. Yeah. For me uh, and my age. <laughs> and, uh, and two guys here who have done done a great job at here. And Bradley, I know you agree with me on that. Absolutely. Uh, which will be a first. <laughs> right, right, buddy. Like I said, Bradley, uh, of course, um, I don't know whether we're going to be doing 300 shows or not, but uh, but you never know. Never know. I don't know if I can make 300 shows. <laughs> you so. never know. I, I have to stand in. I have to be in the press box you for three hours. With the same, the with the same co-host. It's going to be hard for me to do that. It's going to be hard for me to do that. But uh, anyway, uh, Bradley, you have some final words you got to say. Well, as always, I go watch the ball game Thursday night. Support those Lady Warriors. Yeah. Get behind the Tennessee Vols. If you're not a Vol fan, it's okay to be wrong. Exactly. And I like that. Too. 300 shows coming on. Yeah. Albert Billy show, and I always close out with Go Blue. That's right. Sorry, Rob, Albert. Go Braves. <laughs> <laughs> and go Big Orange. That's right. There you go. I like and that. Uh, of course, again, as I said, Thursday night, Bledsoe County will be playing at home for the District 4 AA Tournament Championship against Sequatchie County. 
and uh, that'll be the fourth time this season they have met. Blaisdell County's won the last three. Uh, come out and, and uh, root and cheer the uh, Lady Warriors on the victory, as uh, they hopefully will get the number one, hopefully get a number one spot with a victory in the region tournament, which will start next week. We we'll have the broadcast region. time at 4:50 p.m. That will be the pregame with five o'clock for the first pitch. We'd like everybody to show up and, and root the root the root the root root the radio. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, as Root, the uh, Lady Warriors on the victory. There you go. You got that, right. Tom. I uh. must be tired. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Root them on the victory. And uh, as the Lady Warriors do, can and do need your support. Mm -hmm. And uh, we say goodbye. We'll see you in two weeks. Hopefully, when we have recovered from this particular episode. <laughs> here on... on uh, Let's go Telephone Crocker Channel 18. Again, the Albert and Billy Show, 300 episode on 17th at Bank Walker Brewery. Yeah. 2 to 4 p.m., right? That's right. And we'd like yeah. to have, have a fan base there. And I know yeah, there's a lot of people there. So uh, if you are going to watch that show, that's a great place to do it and be mm -hmm. part of the history. There As you go, uh, funny. Albert and Billy, 300 show, Bank Walker Brewery, 2 to 4 on the 17th. As you're watching the Mike and Bradley sports scene, here on Bledsoe Telephone Call for Channel 18. We'll see you in two weeks. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. See you guys. Thank you, Phil. Brought to you by Bledsoe Telephone Cooperative in the Sequatchie Valley.